and companies. Let's see uh, what are the main characteristics of uh, each of these uh, um, generation group. Well, traditional or also called matures, uh, they were born before the Second uh, World War. Uh, let's say they they are the people quite uh, fixed um, in terms of gender role. Um, they, in terms of values, they are very attached to nuclear family. Uh, let's say that the maximum aspiration, work aspiration, was to became owner of a home and uh, end of a car. Uh, they were looking for the job for uh, all their life, and they were um, and they still pre prefer to communicate face to face with face to face meeting, or they um, used to use formal letters. Um, baby boomers, um, they are still present in many companies. Um, they have, actually they are very traditional as well because they were born during the Second War. Um, so they are very attached to work as well. They have very strong competence that they build up uh, during their career. And they are often the management line who is retiring. If uh, well, they are very close to, reti uh, to retiring people, um, to the retiring period. Sorry, uh, the work aspiration is um, is the job security as well. Um, they started to use. They are considered early IT because they started to use IT, but they become IT adopter. They had to learn to use email and to use the internet while they were very used to face-to-face uh, -face meeting and to telephone. Um, Generation X, they um, are also um, the people called uh, changes or revolutionary people because actually they were born mainly during the end of the uh, Cold War and before the falling of the Berlin Wall. They, have a, they don't have a very strong social identity. They are also considered somehow uh, scenic, um, without values or affects or uh, without a sense of um, untrust uh, toward uh, tradition and the future. Uh, they are very pragmatic because they are looking for money, earning. Um, about uh, job aspiration, they are more focused on work and life balance. Uh, they are digital, although they are not nat native digital, but they have to migrate to a digital way to communicate. This, indeed, uh, they use very often mobile and mail because uh, still nowadays, of course, are the main uh, communication tools that we use. Then Generation Y, um, also called in some cases next generation, next generation because it's the generation uh, after the X generation. Uh, some literature, as I was saying, calls them already millennials because they were born uh, between the 80s and almost the 2000s, they are actually the uh, digital native. Uh, they have always been used uh, text or SMS and social networks. And, and somehow they grow up also being protected by their family. And they normally have a high self-esteem. Uh, well, they are also a generation which uh, are considered to have a strong civil sense because they are also the generation of Occupy Wall Street, of the Indignados, of the Arab Springs. Um, so this is the reason why um, they strong. Uh, they have a strong civil sense because they uh, often are involved in a movement, social movement. They are very multitasking, um, and actually, uh, they are not attached to 
they are not very loyal to an employee, an employer, or to a company. Uh, they feel uh, free to change company and to looking for a better job situation. Um, they are quite flexible and they use all the communication media. Uh, so they uh, use, they are often online often online and they use very often mobile devices as well. And finally, the generation Z, uh, born after the 2000s, they are always connected. Actually, they are uh, the PC or mobile device generation. Uh, they, they are always active and looking for information on the internet, and they are also participate to the production of media and of um, uh, digital information. Uh, normally, uh, they are considered the generation without relationship and or strong relationship or uh, emotional re relationship. They are not static at all, always dynamic. And, and they always have the mobile device uh, in their hands. So they communicate all the time with different communication media channels. Well, I don't know if you uh, found your, well, if you recognize yourself in these uh, uh, generational pictures, if you agree or not agree with these characteristics. Yes, no? Matthew, you there? Yeah, it, take, it takes a minute for people to type. If, if you want to type in a comment here, does that fit? Do you agree? Have you got a different opinion? Just type it in and we can we could even read out something now. Uh, okay. Mara, it just takes a second for people to type in it for it to send. Okay, got? I can see any typing. So I have no idea. It's exciting. It's a mystery. No one's typing at the moment. If you've got a comment oh. there, when you said, I must say, generation uh, that, you know, they've always got a, a, a telephone in their hands. Um, here we go. We don't know quite who it is. I'm between X and Y. So, yes, I think some people are combining two columns here and feeling more than one. But that's quite interesting as well. So we're getting a positive agreement there. OK, no more answer. So, Actually, well, we have, I tell you, what we have this thing. <laughs> We're annoying Nicola. She says she had a reaction before. I was going to save it to the half time that she's looked at what you put up there and said and wondered and asks, uh, where is the research based? So are there some countries that uh, put, you know, are studied? Are there some cultures? And which socioeconomic class are we talking about? Uh, so she's thinking it's quite, it looks quite US centric. Where, where, where's the data collected from? Yeah, exactly what I, what I said. Uh, that may, um, most of the literature is based on Anglo-Saxon uh, culture, mainly in uh, multinational companies. Yeah. Uh, and if you want, well, um, I, I can share with anybody who is interested the slides, of course, the PDF slides, and I can share with you also some uh, particular references from where I found this um, this research. I think it's a better idea so that you can have more details. Sounds interesting. Okay. Sounds good. And Jana makes a comment. So she would question Generation Z uh, needing security and stability. Do you have a comment about that for Jana? Well, in somehow they do, but in some other how they used to uh, search for in somehow what can be perceived from other generation as insecurity. Because here the point is that uh, different generation have different values, yep. and that has uh, happened between. Um, in cross-cultural communication, so uh, in communication that it's happening among different people coming from different cultures, uh, it's very frequent the misperception uh, of 
um, well, of priority or what might be important or more important uh, for one generation might not be the same for the other one. For the yeah. other one, yeah. generation set is always looking for opportunities. Looking is um, always looking for the possibility to change and to change for something they perceive better than the previous situation. So yeah. of course, if, uh, if to say uh, generation set, um, if to say uh, or to make the um, um, to to. Uh, the, if the generation X is looking at generation Z, generation X can say, oh, yes, they are very unstable, very insecure. Uh, but on the contrary, generation Z can say, this is my way to live without to perceive it as a problem or uh, as something uh, with ne negative uh, affect. 